All right, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here on our way to the Toronto Regional Championships and we're in the car with Sean Lydon and then there's also Frank Persick in the driver's seat, but uh, we're about to be a little late. Uh -huh. We might be late, so we're trying to skirt right out of here <laughs> and get there as quickly as we can. And we got about, what, eight minutes to the player meeting and about four minutes to get there via Sean's Apple Maps. Uh -huh. So. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we make it there on time. Uh, should be fine. Round one doesn't start yeah, when the player meeting starts, but it's uh, probably, you know, good form just not to miss the player meeting. So we'll see how that goes. All right, just finished my first round. Uh, got started super quick. I played against a great player, Kenny Britton, and this is like not the first time. We played against each other like twice in the last few tournaments here. He beat me at, I don't know, it was either St. Louis uh, or something like that. I think he beat me at St. Louis with Galicipi Zorg, but we were playing uh, Let's see, I was playing Buzz Garb against his Zorg like a rock. I was able to take it. Zygarde put in a ton of work. I was actually considering playing Zygarde in my uh, Buzz Rock list if I were to play Buzz Rock today. Those were like the two choices. I was between Buzz Rock and Buzz Garb. Decided to just go with tried and true Buzz Garb. Uh, just love the Zygarde for that Zorg like a rock matchup. Such a great card. They don't really have a lot to deal with it quickly and efficiently. So uh, it was good games though. They went to game three, close games, came down to the wire on time, but I ended up having it was able to get some quick garbodors out and he just missed the field blowers when he needed it most in that game three so excited about this excited to go check out some vendors uh, it's been awesome so far just so many friendly people and just excited to be back in Toronto in general but uh, yeah this is wild so just getting rolling here what's up so we just won our second round and Aaron Tarbell's here hey Aaron Tarbell what are you playing today man uh, Glissify Garbodor and you're 2-0 right Nice. Now, why did you choose to play Glissify Garbodor today? So I was told there was no more spice in the format, so I just played a bad deck. You just played a bad. I'm playing a bad Garbodor deck too. It's okay, and I'm 2-0 as well. Garbodor's really good. Yeah. Parallel's really good. Uh, so you know, just put a bunch of good cards in your deck and just hope it goes well, right? Exactly. Yeah. So it's I just see the good cards and then I can't say you have a bad deck. Right. I mean, there's at least there's at least 40 good cards in my deck. I don't know. Yeah. So I just played against uh, Vikavolt Tapu Bulu. Went well. And I was very happy that I had Garbodor. That was, that was awesome. And Parallels was like really good against that matchup. So uh, gonna be a long day here. I'm finally getting to go to the bathroom and finally getting to check out some vendors because I finished around 2-0. So that was sweet. Yo, so I accidentally skipped around. I got really tied up. It's been awesome. There have been so many people here. It's been so much fun, but uh, I'm 4-0. So that's super exciting. I was able to beat Zorark Guardi one round and I just beat a Zorark Glycopod. Zorark Glycopod, pretty sketchy matchup. I mean, I can't use the Zygarde obviously. And and they play like Mew for my Buzzwool. So gotta just like hope that they stay away from their field blowers. Hope those don't show up. Hope the Mew doesn't get to put in too much work. And uh, things just worked out. I was able to win like a really sketchy game one where I just like manually attached to a Buzzwool and he didn't have Guzma in order to bring it up. And then that one Buzzwool just took all six prizes. Just like, you know, roll, roll, roll with the Garbodor up. Like kind of just like the, the shake and bake there at the end was able to just rope a dope and, uh, you know, end. Buzzwool, a absorption, and here we go. And just took all six prizes. So that was like super sketchy, but we were able to get there. Tournament's going great. I'm 4 0. Riley is 4 0 as well. Been so much fun, so many fun people, and just a lot of cool stuff. The vendors got a lot more to show off from this event so far. It has just been a blast. And I can't wait to go explore the city as well. Super cool stuff. So I just beat a Buzz Rock five and one. Feeling pretty good about it. Buzz Rock, I think it's a favorable matchup because like the fighting fury belts are really hard for them to deal with since they can't remove them. They don't play any field blower nowadays. So like really just 230 hit points, just a lot of hit points for a Buzzwool deck to hit. Especially since a lot of these lists are also only playing three strong energy now. Uh, they kind of top out at around 210. Unless they got double strong, which doesn't happen all that often. So good matchup, was able to win that one. Uh, 2-0. So now we're uh, heading in the last three rounds. I'm thinking if I uh, win my next one to 6-1, uh, I could ID my last two rounds, go 6-1 and 2, but I think that I want to try and get seven wins on day one, so we're going to see how that goes. Uh, I mean, I could burn myself a little bit uh, if I lose two 
uh, then I'm then I'm out of top 32. But uh, we'll see how this next round goes and decide where to go from there. here we went from five and one to five and three I don't know the deck just went kaput on me first six rounds pure flames even though I lost one deck was drawing great well actually it drew horribly in the one round that I lost earlier but you know went from 4-0 to 5-3 that's not good this is not great but sometimes the luck just doesn't buff out for you it's all good we're gonna have some fun tonight I'm gonna play my last round I think if I win I might be able to make top 64 does that make sense I think so I think so which or is like, top at the very good for some packs maybe so we're gonna try and do that See what we can do. Try to just relax and have some fun. And you know, we, it's, it's last time out with Buzzgar. Will though, Will is still in, in there. Will yeah. is six one to one, and can ID in the cut today? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Will. Will is also playing the same Buzzgar list. Pure fire. When it works, it works. When it doesn't, bad. But. It's all good. The, the Buzz Garb has decided that we don't get any more money. Only Will may get money. Only now. Will may get money now. Yeah. I am very anxious to start playing new Forbidden Light decks. Oh, yeah. I got them on us. Oh, you got what? I got decks oh, on us. Oh, yeah. So that'll be fun. But anyway, I'm just going to check out the vendors, try to trade, have some fun. It'll be nice to come to the venue tomorrow and not have to worry about playing. So right. it's all good. Alright, so we're gonna open this is my third pack, man. We have just been opening fossil packs. I got holographic muck so far. I've got a holographic first edition hypno. Uh, that's two for two. So I just go ahead and another third. Uh, it's a little bit uh, risky, but I mean at this point, I've already hit two hollows. I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm gonna send them away to get green. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, let's see. What do we have here? I got top 64 as well. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. All right. All right. Check the Krabby. Check the Krabby. Are you getting a no. Dog? Yes. <laughs> I hit it. No. There we go. Krabby. Kabuto. Geodude. Grimer. Energy Search. Orsi. Omanite. Oh, non hollow magneton. It's all good. Cloyster, Magmar, and Ghastly. Cool stuff nonetheless, though. Two for three. Still yeah. good. Thank you, guys. All right, so heading out to the venue, day two, but uh, I'm not playing, but our friend Will is, which is awesome. We're parked out here next to BMO Field. Pretty cool, just walking over is what's the Queen Elizabeth building or something that the, uh, the venue is taking place in. Hopefully, you know, I could just meet some people, do some trades, things like that, looking for old cards. Yesterday was awesome, got to open three first edition fossil packs that was amazing i pulled two hollows in each of those packs and uh, the hollows really are only supposed to show up in one in every three packs so getting two was awesome loved it uh, i was opening the ones with the zapdoses the zapdos on the front those are the ones that got the hits and then i opened one of the lapras because the lapras is super cool but then the lapras one didn't have a hit so it was fun though love first edition packs it's just so awesome they're so rare to find i just felt like you know uh it was just uh just the experience of getting to open a pack of cards from my childhood was just so cool yesterday and definitely one of the highlights of my day. So hopefully there's some cool stuff going on here during the second day, gonna show it off and try to have some fun.
Willie Style over here in day two of Toronto. How's it feel, Will? Pretty good. All right. How's your record so far? Eight, three, and two. Eight, three, and two. So what are you on the day then? Two and two. Two and two. What'd you win against? I beat two Buzz Rocks. Two Buzz Rocks. And uh, one of them was Sam Chen. Oh, yeah. Sam's a great player, but uh, Will gave him the business with the old Buzz Garp. Good stuff, Will. Don't pretend to not be paying attention while you're on film, okay? Everybody can see that. All right, so what were your losses to? Zero Garb and Zero Pod. Oh, yes. Rough matchups. So if you win your last round, what's it looking like for you? Top 16. Top 16. All right. Well, that'd be the best finish you ever had at a regional, right? Yeah. All right. And $500. That's what are you going to spend your $500 on, Will? Probably on more cards. Oh, more cards. That's what I like to hear. Well, good luck in your last round, man. Thanks. All right, Will Mantho just won his last round of day two. How'd you end up, Will? 9-3-2. 9-3-2, and that's good enough for top 16, right? Should be. So how close are you to your invite now? Four points. Four points. That's four points. Four puntos. That's insane, Will. All right, well, congrats, man, on an amazing finish. $500. What are you yeah. going to spend your $500 on, Will? Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards from what era? 2010. Will loves 2010. Now, don't you have, like, every 2010 deck ever built? Nope, not all of them yet. Not all of them, but pretty dang close. Well, anyways, congrats to Will. Will finally had his day, all right? Because last time you made it to what happened? I did not get money to anything. No, because you finished, like, what place? 34th. 34th. 34th place. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of sad. So, uh, it was better, I imagine. Yes, it was. Yes. Okay. What did you beat your last round? Zoroark. Zoro Rock. Oh, great matchup. Yeah. Yeah, great matchup for, uh, did you get to use your Zygarde at all? Oh, yes. He put in a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Zygarde puts in a lot of work. So, glad we finally had a good send-off with the Buzzgarb deck. Natalie did well with it, obviously, twice. Will did well with it. And, you know, I did, like, okay, okay with it. I got a top 32 finish one time with it. But the deck is busted, and we'll go down... It's a three thousand seven hundred fifty dollar deck. That's how much. That's how much money our group has won with Buzzgarb. So we're gonna lay Buzzgarb down to rest, though. Start testing for Forbidden Light starting now. 